Hi guys, and welcome to the 100th beer review, even though it's not really the 100th beer review because I've reviewed more. Um, they just need to be uploaded, and this isn't my 100th video, so um, it's a very shallow celebration. But I'm recording a video specifically for Video Review 100, and I wanted to pick up something a little bit special. Unfortunately, this isn't what I wanted to pick up initially, but it was from the same brewery. It was the um, Ancient... Neponia or Nepona, I'm pretty sure, or Neponia. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, and I think that's what it's called. But um, I'd heard a lot of good things about the espresso stout from Hitachino Nest. And I thought, I saw it in Beretta, because that's where I went to pick up the uh, ancient Neponia, but they didn't have it. So they had one more of these left, and I thought, when's the next time? You know, here in Germany, I'm going to see that. Not for a good while, I don't think. So I thought I'd pick it up. Heard a lot of good things, especially from the likes of Adam over at Adam's Craft Beer Reviews and Rob at Hop Scene. Uh, this is actually the beer that he recommended you check out in his um, Ancient Neponia review. Or Neponia. Keep calling it Neponia. Uh, and I've could probably butchered the brewery's name. But yeah, this is my first beer from these guys, and it's my first Japanese craft beer. Uh, both in terms of doing review and in general. I mean, I've drank a couple of uh, Japanese beers in the past, mainly, you know, premium lager type stuff. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous artwork. Really like the almost like 60s psychedelia free love sort of thing going on there. Fantastic iconic logo, which is also on the fantastic crown. We'll definitely be keeping the label and the crown. And uh, yeah, nice label on the neck as well. And then on the back, it's got some, well, it's got the information about the beer, and then it's also got a little sticker um, for the import stuff here in Germany. And this is actually imported by Beer Enthusiast in Denmark, so I'll put their link down below as well as the brewery's link. So, uh, yeah, not going to bore you to death with any bullshit. Let's just get straight on with the beer review. Let's get it opened. You're very excited for this one. I am a massive fan of coffee i'm a massive fan of stouts and i like it when you know you get these coffee porters coffee stouts for the most part they've all been up there so on the neck definitely pick it up like a caramel malt maybe a slight hint of um, a slightly bitter chocolate almost like you've got a strong coffee with some caramel syrup in there but it's also got like a peatiness in the background as well, some nice smoky woody notes. So uh, yeah, smells good on the neck. Let's see what it looks like and smells like when it's in the glass. But it's pouring exactly like how I want a stout to pour. It, it like almost reminds me of when you're pouring out the bottle of like an oil slick, like coming out of a, a pipe. But of course it's not as you know, thick as that. So, I've got really bad lighting here, so I'm actually judging what it looks like on camera. Um, obviously, because the lighting, it looks pretty much jet black, but I'm getting sort of like a really dark wood sort of colour, maybe like a mahogany sort of colour in there as well. You definitely can't see anything, so in that, yeah, in that terms, it is black as night. And beer poured with one finger's worth of your know, nice and indulgent looking mocha head. So uh, yeah, looks fantastic. That's the sort of thing I look for in a stout. So let's see what it smells like in the glass. Not really picking up that much that I picked up in the smell on the bottle. You are definitely getting a, a coffee there, more like a, a cold coffee as it's settled down a little bit. Definitely picking up sort of like a, maybe a yeasty sort of quality. 
caramel malts. Like a really almost burnt caramel sort of smell. Got some on my nose. Uh, like maybe a really like boozy sort of cherry aroma. Slight bit of woodiness there, smokiness. And yeah, you are picking up that coffee. Really nice, actually. Smells almost as well like um, like a licorice liqueur, maybe. But like um, as well, like a really nice boozy, cakey rum raisin sort of cake with a lot of treacle. Yeah, that sort of thing. It's one of those beers where every time you go in, you get something else as you sniff it. But yeah, I'm getting sort of like um, spotted dick Jamaica cake sort of aromas. That smells really nice. Really, really nice. So, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. You definitely pick up that espresso coffee on the taste. It's not really a creamy mouthfeel. And it's not really a really heavy mouthfeel. But it's got a nice amount of body to it. Really nice bitter chocolate bitterness on the back end. Really nice and pleasant. Not too sharp, not too mild, just the right amount of bitterness. And it's got like that like bitter chocolate sort of flavour. Yeah, it's definitely like you've got a, a black coffee with maybe a little bit of uh, caramel syrup or you know, one of those sweet, maybe, you know, nutty sort of syrups in there. Not as smoky or as woody as, 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 as I was expecting it to be on the taste. But yeah, it's a really nice stout, that. Really, really nice. <laughs> Excuse me. It's got a little bit more carbonation than I was expecting it to, but nothing that's, you know, that doesn't work against it. Works nicely with that mouthfeel. It's definitely a robust, complex beer, but it's not exactly one of the most flavorful stouts, if you get what I mean. But yeah, really nice, mature tasting. There is a slight woodiness there. It always has that feel as if it has been partially aged in a barrel, but not too much. In terms of the booziness, I think the alcohol has been masked really, really, really nicely. It's like coffee with maybe a little bit of amaretto in there, but not as sweet as that. But yeah, definitely pick up that coffee. Definitely pick up a bit of chocolate on the back end. There's a slight milk chocolate sort of you know, presence there when it first goes down. And you get a nice bitterness. Nice little bit of warmth. You know, you, it is one of those beers that you probably wouldn't session. You would take your time with. So you're going to sup this one. And you're going to enjoy it. And you, you do get that slight, you know, alcohol warmth. But as I'm talking now, almost getting like um, a slightly, like a hot chocolate, as if you haven't sweetened it too much. That's really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting it to be, but what is there, 
it, it's pleasing me. It's an enjoyable beer. Definitely one you take your time with and indulge in. Robust, complex, but easily palatable at the same time. But that being said, if you're relatively new to stouts, you might want to drink a few more milder ones before you get onto this one. But yeah, I mean, some of my favourite stouts have been Brewdog's Jet Black Heart, Sadler's Mud City Stout, that's a fantastic stout, uh, Tuol's By Other Means. This definitely stands up there with the best of them. I'm not, like, really blown away by it, don't get me wrong. But I could definitely happily, you know, drink this again in the future. So, uh, yeah, a fantastic little stout. And definitely one that you guys should check out if you want some, you know, if you like your stouts, then this is definitely one that you guys should definitely check out. And, uh, yeah, it's one of the best stouts I've had, but not the best stout that I've ever had. And, uh, yeah, a great introduction into what I'm guessing will be a very good brewery for me. So, yeah, I'm glad I started with this one. And, yeah, it's a 9 out of 10 from me. It's got all the characteristics that you want, and it definitely delivers in terms of the labelling. Yeah, in terms of what it says, it's an espresso stout, and that's exactly what you're getting. And um, I'm not too familiar how different Japanese ingredients are, but it's definitely got its own unique like flavours and characteristics to it. So it, it's really good in that regard as well. But yeah, high quality, 9 out of 10. And uh, yeah, before I go, big thank you to everyone who's subscribed and watched over, you know, the past, is it about a year now? Maybe less than a year that I've been actively doing beer reviews, uh, both on this channel and my old one. Um, I'm about 50 subscribers now, but that keeps fluctuating between 50 and 48. So I know that's not really a big milestone, but it really means a lot that, you know, you guys are watching these videos. And of course, people who watch and comment on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, I'm finding out about new beers, and then I'm you know, forging these really cool friendships with people. And when I'm back in the UK, it'd be awesome to meet up with a few of you guys at some of the festivals and that sort of thing. So yeah, big thank you to everyone who has supported me. And uh, yeah, review 100. Here's to 100 more. So if you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What's your favourite stout? What's your favourite beer from this brewery? Uh, what beer should I check out next from these guys? Uh, if you haven't done so already, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, subscribe for more beer reviews. And I hope you will join me for the next beer review. So yeah, thank you guys, and I shall definitely be enjoying this beer. See you later.